Tide Table Practice Problem 1. The first problem says, determine the height of the tide at 14.30 EST ZD plus 5. This is Eastern Standard Time Zone Description plus 5. At New Bedford, Mass. on 10 April 1983. All right, let's get the information from the problem. So the height, we're looking for the height of the tide at 14.30 at 14.30 EST, good, at New Bedford, Bedford, Mass, 10th of April, 1983. So what is the height of the tide at 14.30 EST at New Bedford, Mass, 10th of April? Good. We're going to set this problem up, and we'll always need to get our reference station. Reference station, what's that equal? And then we'll get differences. Good, the differences. And the differences will be the difference from the time of the high and the time of the low. And then we're going to get differences for the height. The height of the high and the height of the low. Now that we're all set up, we can jump into the index to stations. So here the book is divided in half. The back half is tied currents. The front half is tied tables. So when we start flipping forward, we get right into the index. And we're looking for New Bedford Mass. So we flip LMN, MN. Here's all the news. New, 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 New Bedford. It's really handy. You need to keep a couple straight edges around for these problems. New Bedford, Mass. There we are. New Bedford, Mass, 1135. We'll record that here. I just like to say 1135 is the number. Don't get this confused with your times, but it's handy to record it. Now we flip towards the beginning of table two is when we find this number, 1135 for New Bedford, Mass, in table two. Here's the numbers, 28, 24, 19, 17, 15, 12, 900, okay, 1066, 1177, we're on this page. So we cruise down this column and try to find 1132, 1135, 11, 35. 1135, New Bedford. Here's our column. If we follow it up, it says, on Newport page 40. That's our reference station. So on Newport. Newport page 40. Okay, so our reference station on Newport page 40. And now here's the differences. See this difference time high, difference time low, difference height high, difference height low. Now we record these where we have it all set up. So the difference time high is here, plus 10 minutes. Plus 10 minutes, and the low is plus 12 minutes. And then the height correction for high is plus 0 0.2, plus 0 0.2, and the low is 0, 0.0. Okay, and now that we have our reference station, we can jump to table 1, which is on page 40. Starts on page 40 for Newport. So here's our page numbers. 160, it's going to jump a little bit, 88, 58, 54, four, almost there, 40. So here's page 40. This is the reference station, Newport, and it starts in January, February, March, April. There we are. We need April, don't we? April 10th. So here's April, and here's the days, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's April 10th, and we need to figure out 1430, where does it land? Looks like it lands between 
1129 and 1801. Even if we apply these corrections, and there's no daylight saving, so it's just 10 to 12 minutes. Yeah, it lands between 1129 and 1801. So we'll record these. This will make our life easier to record these. 1129 is 0, 0.0. So we can say 1129 is 0, 0.0. And 1801 is 3.5. 1801 is 3.5. These are times and these are heights. Okay, and 1430 is going to land between those. Excellent. Now we can crunch some numbers and get ready to enter table three. So here's the time of the low. Good. So here's the low. Zero, zero. Let's get these out of the way. That one's easy. That's all zeros. Here's the high. Three, five. Three point five. And the correction is plus point two feet from three point five. So we add these together. 3.7. Let's find the range of this tide, the range of the height. So the range equals 3.7 plus 0, 0.0. You could plus or minus, won't really matter. 3.7. The range of this tide is 3.7 feet. Now let's get our time corrections. So the high, time high, this 1801 is the high. You can tell by this number. So 1801 and then 1129 is the low. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 18 and 0 is 1811 is the high. And then we'll add these together. 2 plus 9 is 11. 1, carry the 1, 2, 3, 41. 0 and 11. Okay, so 1141. Now we need to find the duration of this tie. So the duration is how long was it from the high to the low? So it's 1811 minus 1141. We'll find the difference between. And we can't take 41 from 11, can we? So we're going to borrow. That'll make that a 7, but we're borrowing 60 minutes for that one hour. So this would turn into 71. 60 plus 11 is 71. 1 minus 1 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. And now you got 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 minus 1 is 0. The duration of this tide from high to low, or low to high, whatever you want to look at it as, is 630. Good. Now what we need to find, the last piece before we can enter table 3 and find tide at any time, is time to the nearest. Time from nearest. Time from nearest so it's the nearest max tide are we closer to high or low so 1430 Ooh, it's kind of hard to decipher isn't it so 1430 is it closer to i think it's going to be 18 so 1430 15 16 17 18 who it's like three and a half maybe it's closer to this one so 1141, 12, 13, 14, it's less than 3. It's going to be closest to this, closest to our low. So nearest low in this case. So if it's closest to the low, and our low is at 1141, and we're looking for 1430, we need the time from nearest low. So 1430. Minus 1141, it'll equal the time from the nearest low. 
Can't take 41 from 30, so we borrow, right? We borrow 60, and that would make 60 plus 30 is 90, but we still can't take 1 from 0, so we're going to borrow, and this will be 80 and 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 8 minus 4 is 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. And you can check this because 249 is less than half of the full duration, so we know we're on the right track. So now we have the time from the nearest low, and we are ready to enter into table 3. Table 3 gives us time at any time. Tide, height of tide at any time. So let's jump in here. Table 3, I bend it over here. It's on 239. Okay, and this one you need two straight edges, kind of funny. Duration of rise or fall. What's our duration? 630. So we're over here, 620, 640. We're right in between those two. So let's kind of interpolate this a little. So I'm going to underline 640. And now, time from the nearest high or low water. What do we get? 249. So where is 249? If we follow this over, we get 253, and this one would also be closest, 245. We're right in here. We're on the right track. So we follow this down. Grab a second straight edge, and then enter into this bottom section from range of tide. Our range was here, 3.7. So if we find the closest to 3.7 on the left, 3.035, and we follow it over, here's our value, 1.4, okay? Table three, 1.4 feet is the correction. Now, interesting, right? So we're from the low. If we're going to use 1.4 feet as our correction from the low, there's nowhere to go but up. So we're going to add this. And we're going to add it to the low. We found the low to be 0, 0.0. So 0, 0.0 plus 1.4 equals 1.4 feet. And so it's the height of the tide is 1.4 feet at 1430 EST at New Bedford, Mass. on the 10th of April. Let's check our work. This is number one. 1. 1.4, I see that one. 1. 1.4 is C. Let's give it a check. One point, number one is C. That is correct. These are going to take some practice. Practice these, and the practice will get the steps. And once you have the steps, things fall into place, and it's just a matter of keeping all these negatives and positives organized and the times. You know, the biggest chore is actually adding and subtracting time. Mostly subtracting time is going to give you the biggest headache. So be patient. Take your time. You'll get through these. We're going to do four more of these together and then two more on your own, and we'll be through tide tables. See you on practice problem two. Peace.